that one. In Maryland, one of eight states where CVS is starting to sell creams, lotions, and sprays infused with CBD oil. But the pharmacy says it's not selling any supplements or food additives. CBD oil comes from marijuana plants but is not psychoactive. And the pharmacy says everything it's selling complies with the applicable laws. The Potomac River running high after all that rain Thursday. Just look here at the water raging over Great Falls. White's Ferry is also closed. You know, some people, they look for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Others, they just want to enjoy a cold beer. Two Nebraska men were cleaning up after some of this week's flooding when they saw a mini fridge. They trekked through waist deep water, ice jams and washouts to get to it. And when they cracked it open, oh, yeah, it was loaded, <laughs> fully loaded with cold beer. One of them <laughs> called it a bright spot in his day. Uh, they did find the owner and promised to return it once the roads are back open. It just might be a little lighter than it was when they found it. It might just be totally empty yeah. by the yeah. time they return it. It's better really replenish. I mean, everybody knows who has it. So yeah, Between right. a pot of gold and a fridge full of cold beer, I don't know. It sounds about <laughs> it's the same. It's a tough, yeah, a tough uh, decision there. So it's amazing how quickly this is moving through. We already have sunshine out there in wow, Rosalind. It only fast. lasts like 10 or 15 minutes, and we've seen some amazing clouds out. And uh, I tweeted the one from National Harbor, and within the last five minutes, the sun has poked behind it. But we're looking at uh, what are called mammatus clouds. And some of you may be looking out in the sky and going, what is that? And it basically... Uh, it looks like cow udders on the bottom of the cloud. And whenever that happens, you don't see them very often. That means the sky is turbulent. And those winds are churning in, you know, just up and down in the cloud. And it gives that illusion when you're looking up. So it's stunning. And we had a few of them here. I set this up for you, Georgetown, Arlington, and National Harbor. But that has moved off uh, very rapidly off to the southeast. In fact, take a look. It's not raining whatsoever within the district, Fairfax County. Uh, now we have more rain that is coming. But I wouldn't expect severe thunderstorms now that this line has moved through the metro. But it is still pushing right now into Calvert County, in through Charles County, approaching St. Mary's County. In fact, I put a storm track on here for you. So Prince Frederick, you guys are essentially right now uh, looking at Drum Point at 513. You got Leonardtown at 507. So you folks are another 15 minutes or so. Uh, we're looking down and it will continue to move off to the southeast. There is a Severe thunderstorm warning that is in effect for this area. That is the only severe thunderstorm warning in our area, and I would not expect another one. However, it's going to stay windy. We have a wind advisory out for all the shades of tan here. That's mainly west of the D.C. metro, and that's up till 4 o'clock in the morning. Without any storms at all, we're still looking at wind gusts 30 to 40 miles per hour tonight, and there are a few more areas with some showers that are back here to the west, so it's now pushed through White Winchester. You have some folks, uh, some rain currently. And that's going to continue to roll across, eventually make its way into Loudoun and, and Fauquier County, and then probably push through the district in another hour or so. So we're keeping an eye on that. But look at these peak wind gusts so far. Winchester at 53 miles per hour, 51 in Leesburg, 59 mile per hour wind gusts as that storm rolled through in D.C. That is classified as a severe thunderstorm. 58 miles an hour or greater is a severe component to a storm, and that's what we've had officially. Clear and windy tonight, 28 to 38. Those winds will be around gust to 35, maybe a little bit more at times. They'll be around for your early morning hours. I mean, look at these numbers. I know it's spring. You're going to walk out tomorrow morning, 6, 7 o'clock, and we're in the 20s. In fact, the wind chill is into the 20s, below freezing through at least 10 or 11 tomorrow. By the afternoon, winds are going to be blowing. It won't play as much of a role. But just be ready for teens and 20s out the door tomorrow morning. The rest of your weekend coming up here in just a few minutes. Teens and 20s, Bill. I know, I know. I'm trying. I'm I know. trying hard. Uh, and we've got scenes like this. <laughs> so beautiful. But they are inside, of course. This garden is in full bloom inside Tyson's Corner Center. The Field of Tulips is helping raise money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. You can see it and buy them through Sunday. As blossoms of all sorts start to bloom around our area, share your pictures with us. Upload them through the free ABC7 News app. Just click on Chime In. We'll be right back. How to get this yard? Behind Pete's great looking.